Connecting the DRO server to the setup. Once the switch and gateway have finished their startup process, you'll have solid blue lights on the, on the front side here. And then we can go ahead and connect up the DRO server, which is a, a laptop that has server software on it. So we would uh, locate it in the same secure location that we've set this equipment up. And we go ahead and uh, set up the laptop, similar to how we set up our, our workstations. There is the mouse pad and mouse that will connect up to it. Our lockdown cable, which we would secure to the, the case or the table that this is set up on. And of course, then we need to power the laptop and make sure that we're uh, securing the power cord such that it doesn't easily get unplugged because uh, we don't want the server going down. So we'll go ahead and plug the power in the side here. Uh, plug that into our power source. Now the server will connect to the setup here by way of Cat5 cable. And it has a specific port that it needs to go in on the core switch. So we're going to take a Cat5 cable and plug it into the laptop here. That is the server. And then we're going to run that Cat5 cable and plug it into port 2 on the core switch here. And then once that's all connected, we can go ahead and turn on the DRO server. It will start up. And then we would continue the detailed process in the DTP about properly setting up the DRO server for the location and uh, other applications and shares that we would need to finish.